Hello, my friends. Flash, Flash RV Transport. Uh, right now, I'm in uh, Lake City, Florida. I'm, uh, I got a 26 foot, or 27 foot Jayco on the back right now. Uh, I'm gonna deliver to General RV tomorrow. I was told that you could deliver to General. You just put your paperwork in the uh, uh, hot water, where the hot water heater unit is and and uh just going down down the road well when i called them they said no we don't do that anymore so i don't know if it's because of the hurricane or what but i saw a couple of drivers <clears throat> on the road coming down here and uh they told me the same thing they couldn't they couldn't drop off until monday also so i want to keep that in mind if you're going to general rv um, i don't know if all of them are like that or just this one i don't know so anyway okay so i had a friend ask me to break things down for him and uh last week uh or i'm sorry uh beginning of the week i went to uh, richmond virginia i had to do a my 34 hour reset the truck just passed by that's what y'all hear 34 hour reset <clears throat> And, um, and then I, I went to uh, Richmond, Virginia, okay. Um, kind of a rough ride, and it was, you know, going through those mountains in West Virginia, I, 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 didn't, I didn't like it too much. It's, you know, uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, <laughs> trust me, it's beautiful, but uh, you'd get up to the top of the mountain, it'd start sleeping. You'd come back down, sun was shining. You'd go back up, it was sleeping. So, I, I hurried up and got on out of there, I guarantee you that. So, uh, anyway, <clears throat> I went to um, uh, A and L RV in Richmond, Virginia. And uh, I'll probably never go there again because it took me so long to get unloaded. kind of got a little ticked off at them um but i picked up in middlebury it was 685 miles the load paid a dollar 55 a mile which equals up to a thousand and sixty one dollars and fifty seven cents okay they advanced me five hundred and thirty dollars and seventy eight cents okay um what i spent um <laughs> when I was doing my reset, I was laying in my bed back here and I kept hearing this thumping on my roof. I'm like, what is that? And I knew it had been raining, you know, but rain doesn't sound like that. And I look out the window, it's snowing. And it was cold. It was cold. So, uh, and the reason why I'm bringing that up is because I had to go buy me a, a little hat. I don't even know. Let's see if I can get it. A little snooty cap, you know. Um, <clears throat> it was eleven dollars and forty-five cents. Uh, I spent twenty-four dollars and seventy-one cents. I think that was on Copenhagen or something like that. Uh, I got a roll of it. Um, and so then I, I go up there start going up there when I get into West Virginia like I said everything it's it's beautiful I mean West Virginia is absolutely gorgeous but everything is on a mountain and uh, I'd, I'd never been to uh, that way before so um, uh, it said on the billboard uh, it does not accept credit cards for payment on the toll. So, um, and, and I had some cash on me, but I, I didn't know how much it was. It never said. So, man, I found this little bitty store, and, of course, it was on a hill. And when I parked, I was on a hill. 
And I asked that lady, I said, do you think it's gonna flip over? She goes, I don't know, it might. So anyway, um, uh, I got, I pulled out $80. Uh, I knew I would have enough, you know, with 80 bucks. So anyway, and I knew I had to come back um, the Ohio Tur Turnpike and um, the Toll Road in Indiana. All right, so I pulled out $82 or $80. It charged me $2.50 for eight, so $82.50. Okay. okay. Now, um, I put um, fuel in, in Goshen. Uh, three hundred and eighty-five dollars and ninety cents. So I filled up my truck, and I, 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 uh, I don't think it quite filled up my. I think I had three quarters of a tank of my uh, auxiliary tank. And going up, up those mountains, it was eating that fuel up. I, I think I was averaging at one point in time, um, like eight point six miles per gallon, and it got up to leveled out at nine point two. Okay. Um, so that pretty much took the majority of that advancement. So they, like I said, they advanced me $530.78. I spent $421.45 on fuel and miscellaneous items. Um, so it left me with $109.00. And then um, when I dropped it off, they they were real quick about paying me. So I think it was the fastest I'd ever been paid. I, I um, uh, got my paperwork signed and, and sent it to them. I w went in to that little RV dealership to use the restroom. I come back out and they'd already paid me, so boom. Uh, the final settlement was $443.29, and that's after a $45 yard fee. Uh, my bond. Um, so after all was said and done, I sent 500 bucks home, okay? Could have sent a little bit more, but I knew that I had to, um, I wanted to keep some on my car just in case you know, something happened. So that's a, that's kind of a breakdown of, uh, you know, what it paid me. Um, before that I had gone to, um, uh, Ocala, went back and went to Virginia Went back, picked up the load, and now I'm, I'm here. Uh, gonna drop this load here in the morning. And hopefully when I go back, I'm hoping I can get a, a load going to Texas. I know there's been a few on, on there. Um, uh, that way, cause I, I need to get my truck serviced and everything. Um, if not, you know, California, I mean, uh, Florida or, or Louisiana, something like that. Um, but anyway, um, you know, if, if, if you're, the, the one thing that I, I can tell you, and like I said, y'all know I'm a newbie, but like I said, you either pick it up out here or you get left behind. Is once you get your final settlement, I wouldn't send everything back. Uh, because you never know what kind of little bind you can get in. And um, uh, I know when, when I went to um, uh, Virginia and I spent the night in West Virginia, uh, I ran my truck because it was, it, was, it was cold. It wasn't as cold as it was in uh, Goshen. And I didn't run my truck. I was bundled up in two blankets, couldn't hardly move because I was frozen to death. Um, but I ran my truck in uh, uh, West Virginia 
And so you you know when you run in your truck you use a little fuel. So uh, always be prepared just in case something happens. Keep a little bit back, and then once you get your uh, next load, when you get your advancement for your next load, then that you can take whatever's left over from that previous run and send it if you want to, uh, or however you, however you want to do it. So anyway. Um, I had a friend tell me he lived in Texas and he never heard of the um, 26,000 pound tag. He had a 25,900 pound tag or he ne had never heard of the, the nine month deal. I don't know. I mean, I you know, that's what the, the county that I live in. I went to the appraisal district to get my tag and she said here it is it's 26,000 pound tag you can either get it for three six or nine months so I got it for nine months and, let the truck go by. and then so I don't know if each county is different I, I don't know I, I know how what, what I paid and and it's on on my um, uh, Indiana transport app that it's good for nine months so anyway um, but that's going to be all for this video uh, like I said hey keep those comments coming um, you know and, and uh, we're going to make some more videos I know I hadn't made um, too many videos uh, since the last one uh, I've just I, I've been going and going and going, and uh, like I said, when I get drop this one, I'm going back to Indiana, pick up one, and 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 head home for a little while. So, anyway, guys, thank you for subscribing, and uh, uh, keep those questions coming, and I'll see you down the road.